It's Terry, and you are at home with stage one. This is episode three. Today, we're going to be using and moving our body in unique ways. So, today's theater game is Body Shapes. Okay, great. You do not need any prep for today's game. Here's how you play Gather your family into one room, pick a player to go in front of the others, and make a letter or number with their body. So, for younger kids, you might want to give them a letter or number that's easier, like a 7 or an O or a capital T. For older kids, you can get a little more inventive, like a lowercase g, right? Now, these letters or numbers could be done standing up or lying down. Let's take a look at two great assistants. Okay, Easton, can you show me a capital T? Good job! Can you show me a V? Good job. And what about an O? Can you do an O? Oh, great job, Easton. Good for you. Okay, Adeline, can you show me the let a capital A? Mm -hmm. Good one, honey. Uh, can you show me the number one? <laughs> Good job. And what about the letter O? Good job, Adeline, well done. All right, there are a lot of options to this game. First of all, what you can do is instead of telling a player what number or letter to create, you can ask them to create it and then you have to guess. If you have three or more people in your family, encourage two people to make one letter or number together. That means they have to have teamwork and problem solving skills, which is really great for those little brains. Another thing that you can do is ask them to make shapes. We're talking triangles, rectangles, maybe a balbus, or even a squircle. It's a real word. I looked it up. And finally, another thing you can do if you have more than three people playing is encourage bodies to make words. So using teamwork, people will do different letters in order to spell out words, and then people can guess it. Sounds pretty fun, hey? what you can do is ask people to create images with their body. So what you can do is on sheets of paper, you can write down objects. And then you can throw them into a bag or a hat or something like that. Then you can shake them up, ask the participants to choose one from the bag, and that's the one they have to do. Let's take a look. Easton and Adeline, could you make me a house? Good job, you guys. Way to go. All right, that's it. Thanks so much, and please join me next week. Okay, who's ready to make a squircle?